What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and today we're gonna to be testing out stop sign and stop light feature in the new update for Model S, X, Y, 3, and future cars. Yeah, we blew through that stop sign quite a bit. It's way back there. Right now it's a beta. So we're gonna be testing this out to see what weird things we can find. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of stop signs probably and some weird traffic lights and some weird traffic situations that you wouldn't really see too much because this is supposed to be city streets. But first off, I'm gonna test autopilot like I've always tested on that windy road by my house. There is a change. I did it yesterday and I was totally surprised. At the very end, I've always said, there's no way it's gonna make that turn, but it actually did. Huge change for autopilot and the Tesla team, or the autopilot team, let's get to it. All right, so we're all set up here. I've got you staring at my beautiful face and my hair, my quarantine hair, sorry for that. Uh, I'm blaming it on quarantine, but I cut my own hair, so I really don't have an excuse. Anyway, we're gonna be off, and we're gonna be on the same road that I always test autopilot on. Uh, we're going to do 25 miles an hour because there is some construction here. A lot of houses being built around here in Mooresville. And as you can see right here, road under construction. And we're going to get up to speed, put it in autopilot, 25 miles an hour, focusing on the road. And we get to see exactly what the car, the dash will see and what the car will see. And it does really good here. We get really close to this um, mailbox right up here. I'm not sure if we're gonna hit it. Going 25 miles an hour, we shouldn't. It'll be really close. That is very close, but we did not hit it. This turn is a little squirrely sometimes, but there is a truck off the side of the road, so I'm gonna have to take over, but I'm wondering what's gonna happen here. It slows down, and I didn't feel comfortable with that. Um, but put it right back into autopilot and it ju does just fine through this section here. The major section that I want to point out to you is at the end of this and it's never done this before. This is part of the stop sign and uh, stop light scenarios in the new update 2020 12.6 I think I can't remember exactly but right now it's already showing 500 feet there is a stop sign but it is a blind turn it doesn't see that it just knows it from gps right now it's 200 feet and it's slowing down it's never done this before it's always blown through this intersection here at 30 miles an hour but right now it freaks out because it's too much of a turn too much of a turn for the car so very interesting on what it did there it's very, very good on what the car can do right now, but I think it's not, it doesn't have the full turns yet. So red hands popped up, that's gonna be triggered to Tesla right away. Um, so they can review that section and that's gonna get better on the next update. That's happened before in the past where the car actually went off the road towards oncoming traffic and within a week they had a fix and it worked just fine there. So now we are just in cruise control so we can see that the stop signs and stop lights will still work just in cruise control. I'm gonna bump it up to 25 miles an hour through here and I'm, I'm steering right now. So I'm paying attention to the road, obviously, because I'm driving, but the car is going to be taking care of all the speed and the stop lights. Right there, it shows 500 feet, there is a stop sign. So it's, it knows that there's a stop sign up here, even in this private neighborhood. Maybe because I've been, I drive around here a lot, but it's gonna to come to the stop for me. 50 feet, um, it, there's no line, but we're pretty far from it. That's that's a good, that's, a, that's pretty far where I would have to creep up to here to really see up the hill to make sure there's no cars coming. Um, that's something that uh, Tesla should work on. Let's see if it stays too far away again. It looks like it is stopping too far away from the stop sign which probably is a distance that needs, to, um, that needs to happen. But when you creep up, it takes over. It's not, not perfect yet. Coming up to another stop sign, see if it does really good because this is a main road. That's actually pretty good. All we have to do is tap the accelerator. Now I just tapped it and now my foot's completely off of it and it's taking off for me. A little stuttery, 
but it's taking off for me. 25 miles an hour through here again. This is a dead end. I wonder what happens. I wonder if it knows that it's a dead end. And is it going to freak out? Oh, well, yeah, we're just going to go in people's driveways. So, that's something they'll fix as well. So let's head over to this weird stop sign and see what happens. And we're going to be heading down to the marina or the boat launch that I always go to. And there is a handmade sign, a handmade stop sign. It's made out of wood. And I kind of want to see what happens with this car when it comes to that point. Now, we are coming in kind of hot here. I'm slowing down for this. And... There is the stop sign. What's it going to do? Oh my gosh. We actually stopped right at it from very quickly. That's pretty impressive actually because last night when I came through here at 20 miles an hour, I blew through it and that stop sign was at the back uh, at the back wheel. So that's pretty good. Maybe it's learning, maybe it's not, I don't know. But let's try that again a little faster maybe. Actually, you know what? let's do 40. Let's uh Let's see what happens. It was a little fast here. Yeah, we blew through that stop sign quite a bit. It's way back there. That's a good car length in between, but it did stop. So actually we would have stopped right in the middle of an intersection here. Let's go down to 25. This is probably a 25 mile an hour road here. And right away it pops up 300 feet, 300 feet again. Um, <clears throat> so it should stop. I don't see an issue. I'm going to hover over. Oh, maybe, maybe there's an issue. Okay. It stopped directly right at it. That's actually really good. Um, but I do still have to pull up just to see if there's any cars. Again, another main road here. It does just fine just in cruise control. So this is really nice. This should stop. This should stop with no issues at all. Actually, it stops with major issue because I'm so far back, I can't even see the road here. <laughs> I'm completely blocked. I hopefully Tesla's full self-driving doesn't do this because then it's not gonna know what to do. It's gonna have to creep up to here, a full car, one and a half car lengths just to see where the traffic is. And this is a major thing for Tesla. How is it gonna know to make a right turn or not. There's no cameras facing directly that way. How's it gonna know if there's a, a, a clear path for it to go? Let's go in a neighborhood where the, the houses are a lot closer together so there's a lot more streets around and see what it does with those uh, stop signs and um, those roads. Can we get in autopilot? Will it go around cars in autopilot? What's gonna happen? I don't know. Do you? If you know, you're probably a Tesla engineer. There's a, oh, oh, this is a good one. The stop sign is being blocked by a truck. And the car knows there's a stop sign there, probably because of GPS. But I wonder if we're going to stop correctly. We can't get an autopilot. That was a stick I ran over. We can't get an autopilot, but I wonder if we're still going to stop in the right spot. Whoa, geez, that was a little brake check. And it knows where the stop sign is. Interesting. Stop sign's right over there and it stopped it just fine. Let's give it a little throttle and let's go this way because the garbage man is over there. It's stuttering through the intersection. And again, it knows there's a stop sign right up here. 100 feet, 75, 50 feet, 25, zero. So very good. It's done very, very well. Let's see what it does lines it should stop for the stop sign whoa goodness gracious <laughs> all right so what will it do autopilot unable to proceed please take over very interesting what if i put a turn signal on will it turn no it won't <laughs> it won't turn 40 miles an hour see if it blows through that it's, it's i'm going over the line so it's it stops pretty hard, but stops way in front of it again. This is actually really good for the first iteration of a beta 
stopping at stop signs and stop lights you know it's good, just going to get better from here and what other company can off, can give this to somebody for free oh, that's a that was a little rough uh, what other company can give this to their customers for free well, I guess not for free. You've, you've paid for full self-driving. This is part of it. But this is an update that just happens to come out. This is pretty remarkable technology. You know, there's always steps back when you do, when you push out new things. Um, but there's great things in this update that counteract some of the negatives. Some of the negatives right now on these side roads, this side road right now, it used to be I could go 50 miles an hour when the speed limit's 45. Now it's keeping me at a max of 45 miles an hour. That kind of sucks, but there's things that are great about this and things, like I said, things that are negative. So we have to take the good with the bad. Of course, you don't have to do this. You don't have to enable this, but you're helping Tesla if you do enable this. All, every time the hands pop up when you're taking when you have to take over control that data goes directly to Tesla and the autopilot team takes a look at all those um, data points on why it happened that way they look at the camera feed and find out how to make it better and the more you use this the better you help the faster you're helping full self-driving get to everyone and get safer for everyone so as always stay awesome stay positive stay safe and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.